What is going on everybody? Welcome to our final God Wars gear setup for teams video. In this one, we are going to be checking out Kriara, who is the general for the Armadil God Wars dungeon. In this video, we're going to be checking out some gear setups that you can use to duo or trio, although not many people trio. Duo is usually the max here because it will suffice just fine. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into that as usual, the very cheap setup that will work all the way up to the best in slot, which will achieve best DPS and longest trips. So if you want videos for other God Wars dungeon bosses, you can check the links in the description below. They will link you to my Bandos, Zamorak, and Sarah Doman God Wars dungeons videos. So you can check those out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start off with our cheap setup. So for this cheap setup, when I say cheap for God Wars dungeon, it is cheap. So you're inevitably going to take damage with this setup. It is pretty much the bare bone setup that you're going to want to take to Kriara, whether you're soloing or duoing. So solo, duo, trio, this will work. Duo is the easiest to do uh, with multiple players because of the way that you set up Kriara to use the black chin chompas on it. And if you and your partner can get in sync, this works very well and you can get a good amount of kills per hour. So for this setup, we're going to be going with the Varex Helm, Ava's Assembler, but if you don't have that, you can use an Accumulator, Amulet of Fury. In the ammo slot, we have Dragon Diamond Bolts Enchanted, and I'll explain why in just a minute. Our main weapon is going to be the Black Chin Champas, and as our chest piece, we have an Armadil Blessed Dehyde Top. This will keep the minions off of us when we are going to the Armadil Encampment. We have a crystal shield in the, in the shield slot, but if you have something that you can upgrade that with, by all means do so. Your next step up would be something like a dragon fire shield, Varex plate skirt for some more added defense, Barrow's gloves, our boots are blessed Zamrock dehyde, and this will keep the Zami minions off of us that are also roaming around in the Armadil encampment, and an archer's ring imbued. Over in the inventory, I have a dragon crossbow. I would not do this with a rune crossbow. Do it with a dragon crossbow or better. Those few extra range attack bonuses will help you out a lot in the long run. Now, the reason you have this is because once the minion dies after you are done chinning it, you'll want to switch over to something to keep putting down damage on Kriara. If you don't know how to do this and use the black chins to keep Kriara from meleeing you, down in the description below, I do have a guide for Armadil God Wars on how to do this. So you can check that out and then come back here, maybe check out this guide if you need it. I also have a toxic blowpipe here, and this is for the minions. You're gonna wanna use this to take them down quickly. We don't want Kriara respawning while you're still killing the minions, and I would not suggest anything lower than adamant darts in this. Ecumenical key. This will bypass the kill count and let you right into the room. Armadil kill count is a huge pain, so you're definitely going to want to have an ecumenical key and uh, one extra in case you die. Bones to Peaches for some additional sustain. As for our consumable items for ranging potions, and you wouldn't take Bastion potions here because you do have Bruise with this setup, so that will boost your defense because you will inevitably be using them. Eight Super Restore potions, nine Ceridoman Bruise, and one angler fish. You can opt to replace the angler fish with another Ceridoman brew if you so choose. I usually take the angler just to get my HP up over 121 when I'm setting up the room for the first time as I'm walking in. Another item here is going to be the mithril grapple. You will need one of these to get over into the armadil encampment. It is required in a minimum of level 70 range, but honestly, you probably shouldn't be doing Kriara if you have only 70 range. Last item is going to be the rune pouch, and depending on which player you are, there are going to be different runes in here for you. Now for the rune pouch here, on the right we have player one. Player one has death runes, blood runes, and soul runes, and this is for the blood barrage spell. Player two will have high alchemy runes, which are nature runes and fire runes, as well as a couple law runes to get to Trollheim. The reason we do this is because... Uh, you will want to alk those drops for a little bit of extra profit along the way. Now, using this method here, you will mostly want to funnel most of the food drops into player two as they don't have that additional blood barrage sustain. It does work very well. As for player one, without the Trollheim teleport, you can do the drop trick. You teleport to Trollheim, drop whatever food, drop a couple of food there, and then you teleport back to your house, teleport back to Trollheim with your inventory filled up, and then you pick up what you drop. That way you have a full inventory. So for this cheap setup, our total gear cost is going to be 13.6 mil 
plus. And I say plus because in this setup here, I'm only showing 100 black chinchampas. Now, if you're not on a Slayer task, on a duo, you're most likely gonna wanna bring around 20 chinchampas per kill. So depending on how many kills that you can do, that's about how many you wanna bring. But if you're uncomfortable with this and you're, you and your friend are learning, don't bring a lot because if you die, the chinchampas will run away. You'll lose the whole stack no matter what. So be conservative with your chins if you are learning this. If you're more of an experienced player and just here for a gear refresh, well then you know what to do. Moving into our best in slot setup, and boy, this one is expensive. First up is gonna be the Armadil set, the helmet, the chest plate, and the chain skirt. If you are on a Slayer task, you will want to swap out your helmets with the Slayer helmet for the imbued bonus, plus 15% to ranged accuracy and damage. Avis Assembler Necklace of Anguish, Dragon Arrows, once again, Black Chin Champas. This one does have the Elijah Spirit Shield, but it is incredibly expensive and entirely not necessary. If you are using the rest of the accompanying best in slot gear, you could downgrade this to a Dragonfire Shield with not too many adverse effects. Barrow's Gloves, Pegasian Boots, and a Ring of Suffering imbued, and that will give you plus 20 additional defense to all defense bonuses. Over in the inventory, we have a Twisted Bow. The Twisted Bow barely works better than an Armadil Crossbow, but it is better. So if you do want to downgrade to the Armadil Crossbow with Dragon Diamond Bolts Enchanted, by all means, you can save yourself a lot of money by swapping out the Twisted Bow and the Elijah Spirit Shield. You can actually save about 2 billion GP on this setup just from those two items. We also have the Toxic Blowpipe. Once again, minimum of Adamant Darts in here. This one has the Kodai wand in it because, well, you're in best in slot and you can. It's actually really useful to pull the melee minion over to the range minion, freeze them in place, and then step away so you only have to protect from range and then blood barrage them if you are player one. As for our consumables, three bastion potions, and these are going to be the divine version to keep your stats boosted because with this setup, you're not going to take nearly as much damage as the cheap setup and your bones to peaches and your blood barrages will sustain you very well. 13 super restores. We want to make the trip last as long as possible. Now in my setups, I try to bring a little bit of insurance. So three angler fish and two ceridome and bruise, and those are for emergencies should you actually need them. Once again, the mithril grapple to get into the armadil encampment, bones to peaches for some more sustain, and that rune pouch, player one, once again with the ancient magics, and player two with the high alchemies. Definitely want to be funneling that food into player two when you do get those drops, just to make sure all is fair and everything is good. Your trips last a long time. Total gear cost for this particular setup, 2.23 billion GP. Now, like I said, this could really go down to about 230 million GP just with the Twisted Bow and the Elijah Spirit Shield being replaced. So obviously not necessary to have a Tebow and, a, and an Elijah Spirit Shield, but this is the best in slot setup, so I wanted to include it. All right, everybody, that is going to wrap up the final video for team gear setups for the God Wars dungeon bosses. I hope that you may have found all of these videos interesting. And whether you're here for just a gear refresh or you're actually trying to figure out what you might be able to use, I hope that it helped you out. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. They really do help the video's popularity. If you haven't done so yet, please tap that subscribe button on your way out. And if you wanna support the channel a little further, you can become a channel member. Channel member will give you exclusive access to community member only posts, as well as in-game events and masses with me. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.